Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I am out here on a nice, brisk Czech morning in Uehersky Brod uh, by invitation of CZ, and we're taking a look at some of CZ's cool guns, and we're out at the range today with the Scorpion Evo 3 A1. So this is the, the current iteration of the Scorpion, which in the United States is exported or sold as a semi-auto PCC. But this was actually developed originally for the Czech military as a submachine gun. And so we've got the submachine gun length and the full fun selector switch. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to bring this out, do some shooting with it, and see how this handles as an actual military submachine gun. It is uh, basic standard 9mm Parabellum. Uh, by the way, the magazines say subsonic, just because at some point someone had that in there. This is just standard ammunition, so nothing fancy about it. It is a simple blowback mechanism. We've moved the charging handle off to the left, because I'm left-handed, and all the other controls are nicely ambidextrous. I am told this has a rather high rate of fire. Let's find out. has a very low rate of fire on semi-auto. Dang, that is fast. That's really nice. That is a high rate of fire and really controllable. We have a steel plate at, we have one at about 15 meters and one at about 25 or 30 meters. And I'm able to keep complete bursts on the plate, which is really nice. All right. <laughs> so I have to get used to the fact that there's a charging handle here. So you can like HK slap it, but only if you've used the charging handle to lock the bolt open. It locks open on the magazines, and then it has a regular bolt release. So you can't slap it if the charging handle's already forward. And you can't bolt release it if the charging handle's locked back. Okay, so there's the downside. It runs out of ammo way too fast. Honestly, normally what I'm what I would think what I would expect is it's simple blowback, so it's gonna have more felt recoil to it uh, and more climb than a delayed or locked action. But it just actually kind of doesn't seem to. Um, it's very controllable. And then it fires from a closed bolt, so you get a good first shot. Um, it's not a match grade trigger. It's a perfectly adequate submachine gun trigger. And just the fact that it is closed bolt means you don't have that initial kerchunk that you typically get from open bolt, simple blowback submachine guns. Um, the fact that all of the controls are totally ambidextrous is really nice. Like I can shoot this right-handed. Almost as well as I can shoot it left-handed and all of the controls work just as well right-handed as left. Optics mounting, like, I think this is a serious contender for a modern, nice submachine gun. All right, so <laughs> unfortunately, I think CZ may have kind of spoiled me for the semi-auto Scorpions. Like, I'm sure it's a nice semi-auto PCC, but oh, now I've gotten the full auto experience and that's really cool. Well, um, you guys, of course, are used to full auto mag dumps uh, at the end of the video and I'm out of ammo, but <laughs> uh, 
CZ is not the only company making guns that use Scorpion magazines. Lots of other people have copied, uh, have used the magazine because it is in fact a really good nine millimeter submachine gun magazine. And so Magpul makes their uh, PMAG D50 with a Scorpion tower to it. So uh, a big thanks to CZ, of course, for giving me the opportunity out here at the range with this. I have links to all of CZ's social media down in the description if you're interested in seeing both their modern stuff like this and also some of the you know, behind the scenes shots from the CZ factory and some of the cool historical stuff they have in their vault. But you're not here for that. You are here, of course, for the end of video mag dump. Ready?